welcome again in previous tutorial we have created a simple prefix route for our admin panel so when we'll go in uh, in localhost and my project name we are seeing this uh, our front end and when we will hit in admin then we are seeing the admin panel and this panel and this hello actually uh, came from this uh, source and there is a folder called controller and there is an admin folder admin prefix folder and here this users controller that we have created in previous tutorial and this exit hello actually we are seeing in here and this routing that we have created in config and routes.php and this is that was the route so now question is how we can use cag back command to create a controller in this prefix uh, folder that means we are not in uh, we, we don't want to create our controller in here we want to create it in admin folder so this is very simple so i'm just going in go, going to open my terminal and change my directory to cd bin then going to give a command called cag back and then controller name and controller and then giving hyphen and typing prefix and then name of my prefix so my prefix name was admin that i am going to mention and then i have to give the table name so i have a table called users that i have created here already and you can see that users has users name email password created and modified field and this password field i have uh, keep 100 barker because cac php uh, used i am i will use here default uh, password hash algorithm and uh, the default password hash uh, algorithm following bcrypt uh, algorithm uh, default password password hasher that i will use and it's actually following bcrypt algorithm so for that uh, i am uh, going to i ha i have uh, keep this field barker 100 character okay so now so after give this command then when you will hit on enter uh, so you can see the users controller already exist that we have created so i'm just removing this or delete this uh, uh, controller so there is no any controller now so i'm just going to give now here yes that it will enter so you can see the users controller already created so when we will create a prefix uh, route then we have to keep the controller name in prefix folder and we also keep our uh, template in admin folder so you can see the template there is no any admin folder so i'm just going to give you another command to create a uh, admin template so for that i'm going to give the same command in this time i i will create the template so i'm giving here template then prefix uh, admin and the table name is users then after hit on enter so you have you are not seeing that admin folder has created and this admin folder there is a folder already created that's called users and this users has four files and these four files has created add edit index and view so now if you go in here and then reload your page so you will see the users uh, table and there is no any data because i have no any data in here so if you go and new user now you are able to add your new user in here so so after submit you can see the your users has been created so now if you go back and you can see that your uh, this is your front end so now if you go in your admin you will see your, your users uh, users index in here so there is uh, no any model that i have created you if you go in here you can see that there is no any model for users so model folder actually uh, there is there is no need to create any prefix folder for model 
model will be common for uh, your all resources or all for your all project for your project model name will be uh, same same directory so you can create your model for your validation so i'm just typing the clear screen and then giving here the same command but in this time i'm giving cag back model then user so after hit on enter so your model has created now in your entity you can see the users users php and the table also created users table in here so another thing that we have to do i have uh, um, we have already created a app controller in previous tutorial and this app controller we have created for our admin prefix route so in users controller we have to give this admin uh, to change the directory then that we are in admin we, we will use the admin app controller not the common app controller so after save if you go in here the same thing you are seeing so you can add edit delete now in your prefix route so in next tutorial uh, we will create a login or you we will create a authentication for our admin so i will use uh, auth component first time for create login then uh, we will uh, use the authentication plugin that uh, be introduced in uh, cacpish version 4 they already mentioned that uh, auth component uh, is deprecated but we will see how to create uh, login using our component in next tutorial so thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next